Ah, good morning. morning. Merry Christmas. A very Merry Christmas to each of you who have come to St. Peter's this morning. Uh, I hope we have more folks online. I know we have had some uh, bitter cold yesterday. I mean bitter cold yesterday. And last night we had a reasonable, by 40 people maybe came out here, 30 or 40 something, and 30-ish. And, and uh, that was a harder journey. Today is at least somewhat tolerable. So I hope you're watching at home, those of you who can, and we will bring you today the joy of this Christmas season in every possible way. Either way, let's just thank God for the birth of a Savior. Let's thank God for uh, the gift of life and for the gift of hope. We're going to begin as we do in all of our church, all of our services. By Today I've listed it differently, an expression of thanks for those who help. So please rise and we will uh, sing this. We will, we, will, uh, we will speak a word of thanks to those who help in every way. Hospitals, uh, nursing homes, those who serve and protect those who care for others, those who teach, those who go as visitation nurses in homes. Okay, for all of those many, many kinds of people, let's give God thanks. One, two, three. <laughs> Amen. Now, we're going to begin with Hark the Herald Angels Sing. I think this is the gospel version. We're singing it gospel version this morning. the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sinners reconciled joyful all ye nations rise the triumph of the skies with angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. A hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored. Christ the everlasting Lord. Our Emmanuel, hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Wait, hold up. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings With healing in his wings While he lays his glory by A second birth Hark the herald Angels sing glory to the newborn king. <clears throat> and we make our beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the aid of your people turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit, that attentive to your word, we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, 
and grow into the fullness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins in the presence of God and of one another, and we speak those words together. Gracious God, have mercy on us. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. Uphold us by your Spirit, so we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you unto eternal life. Your sins are forgiven in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on, and those may, in the back may come in. And we're going to sing, standing as you can, this song. Long time ago in Bethlehem. Anybody ever heard of Harry Belafonte? This is his song right here. Long time ago in Bethlehem saw the Holy Bible say Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas, Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Hark now, hear the angels sing, and the newborn king was born today. And man will live forevermore, because of, Chri because of Christmas Day. While shepherds watched their flock by night, they saw a bright new shining star. They hear a choir sing, the music seemed to come from afar. Hark now, hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And man will live forevermore. Because of Christmas Day. Two. Jesus and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They found no place to bear her child. Not a single room was in sight. By and by they find a little nook in a stable all forlorn. And in a manger cold and dark, Mary's little boy was born. Hark now, hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And man will live forevermore, because of Christmas Day. Amen. The Lord be with you. We pray together the prayer of the day on page three at the bottom. Almighty God, you've made yourself known in your Son, Redeemer of the world. We pray that his birth as a human child will set us free from our sin through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated and we continue with the Word of God. Choir, get ready to come up here to do Star Child in a few seconds. Merry Christmas. The Old Testament reading, Book of Isaiah, 62nd chapter. Pass through, pass through the gate, prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway, remove the stones, raise a banner for the nations. The Lord has made proclamations to the ends of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your Savior comes. See, he renewed his, he, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be called sought after, the city no longer deserted. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, choir people, come on up. We're going to do Star Child. Uh, 
Hi guys. Morning. So this is a smaller version of the choir. Half of them came last night and are doing Christmas today. Uh oh, watch your step there. Okay. We're going to do the best we can with Star Child. Think of the words of this song, though, as we sing them. So that Jesus came for all kinds of kingdom. So that Jesus came for all kinds of children, including you and me. Star child, earth child, go between of God. Love child, Christ child, heaven's lightning rod. This year, this year, let the day arrive when Christmas comes for everyone, everyone alive. Child, beat child, no place left to go. Hurt child, used child, no one wants to know. This year, this year, let the day arrive when Christmas comes for everyone, everyone alive. child, old child, no place left appears. Sad child, lost child, story told in tears. This year, this year, let the day arrive when Christmas comes for everyone, everyone. child, faith child, knowing joy in store. This year, this year, let the day arrive when Christmas comes for everyone, everyone alive. Hope for peace child, God's stupendous sign. Down to earth, child, star of stars that shine. This year, this year, let the day arrive when Christmas comes for everyone. Stay near the front, folks, because the next one is uh, coming soon. Next song. But you are already near the front. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Our second lesson for this morning is from the book of Titus, chapter 3, verses 4 to 7. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that, having been justified by his grace, we, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
días, hermanos y hermanas. Muy buenos días. La segunda lectura es cap, eh, título, Tito capítulo 3, versículo 4 al 7. Pero cuando se manifestaron la bondad y el amor de Dios nuestro Salvador, Él nos salvó, no por nuestras propias obras de justicia, sino por su misericordia. Nos salvó mediante el levantamiento de la regeneración y de la renovación por el Espíritu Santo, el cual fue derramado abundantemente sobre nosotros por medio de Jesucristo, nuestro Salvador. Así lo hizo para que, justificados por su gracia, llegáramos a ser herederos que habrían la esperanza de, de recibir la vida eterna. Esa es palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. That's a beautiful recollection of me because I've known a lot of people in this neighborhood through the years whose name was Tito. But I didn't know he had a whole book of the Bible named after him. Tito. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to now have choir and all of us sing together as you can. This beautiful song which we only do one time a year. Jesus, what a wonderful child. The choir can come on up. Everyone else, please rise. We'll sing it together. And remember, at the end of this song, if you'd have been with us at Kennedy Airport, this gets real fast. And you're, you're allowed to dance if you want to, if you're, uh, if you're able. <laughs> Don't dance if you can't. Just move around a little bit. Jesus, what a wonderful child. I'll go up here so I can there go. Here we go. There it is. Two, three, four. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus. So lonely, meek and mild New life, new hope, new joy he brings Won't you listen to the angels sing Glory, glory, glory to the newborn King Second time, Jesus, Jesus Oh, what a wonderful child Jesus, so lonely, meek and mild. New life, new hope, new joy he brings. Won't you listen to the angels sing? Glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. Here we go. He was heralded by the angels, born in a lowly manger. The Virgin Mary was his mother, and Joseph was his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar, they were guided by a shining star to see King Jesus where he lay in a manger filled with hay. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so lonely, meek and mild. New life, new hope, new joy he brings. Won't you listen to the angels sing? Glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. Glory, glory, glory. Newborn King. You're not done yet now. It's a Jean Jean the dancing machine. Here we go. Ready? Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus. Jesus, so lonely, meek and mild, new life, new hope, new joy he brings. Won't you listen to the angels sing, glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. Jesus, Jesus, oh what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so lonely, meek and mild, 
new life, new hope, new joy he brings to the listen to the angels sing. Glory, glory, glory to the newborn King. Third time, Jesus, Jesus, oh what a wonderful child. Jesus, Jesus, so lowly, meek and mild. New life, new hope, new joy he brings. Won't you listen to the angels sing? Glory, glory to the newborn King. One more, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so lonely, meek, and mild. Life, hope, joy, listen to the angels sing. Glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. One, two, glory, glory, glory to the newborn king. Third time, glory, glory, glory to the Okay, give them a big hand. They stood up and did their best the whole time. Take your time going down. You've had a good morning of aerobic activity. The Holy Gospel for this Christmas Day is from Luke chapter 2, beginning of the first verse. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and he gave birth, she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, watching, keeping watching over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the tongue of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appear with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you so much, Henry. David, you may be seated as they return. There it goes. In the holy and precious name of Jesus, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, on this merry Christmas morn. A blessed Christmas to each and every person here today and each and every family represented. Um, it's a blessing that I think has to be renewed every year, but it's a, re a blessing that must be renewed every day under circumstances that absolutely change. And many of you here have been through circumstances that change absolutely. And so, and, and some of you are in the middle of that right now as we're sitting here this morning. And so I want to say to you today that Jesus was an absolutely ordinary baby 
who was absolutely extraordinary. He was absolutely both things at the same time. And one of the things you have to learn in life as you go along is how to hold two contradicting things, two, two seeming contradictions in your head at the same time. That this Jesus was absolutely a baby boy and absolutely the Son of God. This not, it doesn't sit comfortably at all times because there are days when I want Jesus to be just like me because I know how I am and I want, him, I want to know that he knows that and then there are other days when I say I need somebody way up on top to take over, right? I need the king, I need the Lord. Today is a day to celebrate both. So we'll start with the absolutely ordinary component here. How about this? Jesus was absolutely born the way every other human being gets born and he came through absolutely the same way. And he was born in very ordinary circumstances. Do you know what the, uh, well, one time when I first came to St. Peter's, I'll say it this way, I met a woman who was possibly older than I am now, right? And she was one of our elderly, mostly shut in, but she came to church once in a while. And she was a little shorty, like here, and uh, maybe 82, 83, right? And she said, Pastor, I was a shoebox baby. I was a shoebox baby. Her name was Marie. I said, I don't understand anything you just said. What does a shoebox baby mean? And she, well, Pastor, I was born when my mom, I was only five, my mom was only five months pregnant. And I was born, and this was around the turn of the last century. They didn't have any of the tech. You know, there was no tech. There was no high tech for those situations. So when I was born, they, they told the parents that they had to take me home. And I was so small, I was, instead of having a crib, I was in a shoebox. She was literally put in a, a shoebox. A little, you know, you know what a shoebox is? And... <laughs> I said, and look at you now, 80-some <laughs> years later. She said, that's the story, Pastor. I was just a little shoebox baby. Nobody thought I'd even be alive. And here I am 80-some years later. And so she had a very happy demeanor. You know why? She knew where she came from. Jesus was a different kind of box baby, okay? He was born in a what? In a manger, were you going to say manger? Yes. So what is a manger? Sir? Is where animals go. And what do they, when they go there, what are they doing? Manja, manja, all you Italians here. It's eat. A manger is a feed box. It's the box where the, it's a little box like the one over there where the animals eat. It's a feed box. Jesus was born in an animal feed box. You know? Think about it. That's not a very high start. That's sort of like Marie born in a shoe box. And so we say today, absolutely ordinary. Absolutely extraordinarily ordinary. Born in the normal circumstance just like us. And laying asleep on the hay. What's the next thing that happened to that hay? That cow and that donkey came over there and ate that hay later in the day. You know what I mean? That was still a feed box. So he's absolutely ordinary, absolutely like you, like me. And if you, if you want to take that a step further, what do we know about Jesus between the ages of, say, one or two, and 30. Almost nothing. He was just a guy, a young man, a boy, a young man, living his life in a little town, not of Bethlehem. Where did he grow up? The little town of Nazareth, yeah, which was nowhere. I mean, it was just west of nowhere. So uh, he, was, he grew up in a nowhere spot and was not on the screen. The one time that was different was when he went to the temple at age 12. So we have one story 
between age 2 and age 30. Ordinary guy learning to do what his dad did, which was what? Carpenter. He had a trade. He was a tradesman. He could build a, a chair. He could take care of building a house. He could do the stuff that people do with their hands. And then he becomes at, at, at once. This extraordinary thing happens. And what do we hear last Sunday? We heard the lesson. Go and tell John what you see and hear. The deaf can, can hear, the blind can see, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news preached to them. All of a sudden, there's this other extraordinary, extra, extraordinary reality. Can you hold both of the things in your head at the same time, see? He was an ordinary child. He was an ordinary young man. And yet he was always extraordinary beyond our common understanding. That's Jesus, okay? Do you need that? I need that Jesus who was that little guy who just was a little kid playing. Because if I'm going to be a child of God like Jesus was a child, I want to know that I have that same joy, those same frustrations on a daily basis, and that Jesus went through that for me. At the same time, do we not need the other side? Of course. So Jesus, and this is a hard point to say about the ordinary, about the regular Jesus. Jesus died an unhappy death. Jesus died out of time at age 33, 34, right? Way before his time. Some of you have experienced that in your own families. It's a very unhappy, very difficult thing. And he died violently, and he died unjustly. And he died in a way that no one could have understood even five weeks prior to his death. But he died. But he died. And that's the, that's the common thread for you and me. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to have my fun for a while. I'm going to go through my struggles for a while. And then I'm gone. That's Jesus, the ordinary child, the son of man. In this sense, that gives me comfort because I know that God is there with me when I go through my grief, when I go through my loss, when I understand that life is not just that bowl of cherries, but it has a very difficult portion. And I know that Jesus went through that as well. But it is important for us now to put the other side of this hat on and to say he was also that extraordinary son of God. Absent that, it's another life well lived, it's another loss well received, and bye-bye. But because he is also at the same time the very son of God, proclaimed by the angels to be such, given the, 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 the sense from heaven above that he had come down to earth. He is for us also these three things, and I'll say them in the original language. He is Yeshua, he is Moshiach, and he is Adonai. Okay? And that's exactly what the angel said. By the way, I think the angel probably speaking to shepherds who were out in, their, out in, their, in Bethlehem, he was speaking in their language, right? Not in English. He was speaking their language, which was Hebrew or Aramaic. And he would have said, he is Yeshua, Savior. He is Moshiach, the Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One. He is Adonai. He is the Lord. He is the one whose name we cannot even speak directly. Because that's the way it is in Hebrew scriptures. They do not speak the name of God directly. They only speak a version of it, Adonai. I, I'm not going to say the other word. They don't even allow that word to be said because it's that holy. So, so what, the, what the angel says is, be aware of something here. This baby who was born the same way and is in a little manja feed box is also Yeshua Moshiach and Adonai to you. He is your Savior. He is your, 
your Christ, your anointed one. And he is also the Lord, the Lord God. And he lived out that reality at the same time. Right? And you can read it in all those stories about all his acts of healing and his teachings and how he said, how he said over and over again, I have not come just for the rich and the famous and all those people. I have come for the poor and the underserved and the underprivileged and the under, underheard because I'm one of those. But I've come for everyone. God so loved the world. And so when the shepherds heard that, those were three pretty big words, by the way, back then. If somebody would say to you, you're sitting out there in the field watching your sheep, a wonderful line of work in the winter where you got to eat the hay with the sheep, I guess. I don't know what you even had to eat there. And you got to get over to Bethlehem, they said. It's about three, four miles away. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to find this baby. And they did, just like that, because he was... Yeshua, he was Moshiach, and he was Adonai. And what was his name? See, there's a thing. His name was Yeshua. His name was Jesus. His name, we say Jesus. You say Jesus. In their time, they said Yeshua, the Savior, Christ the Lord. He saved us in the way that we can only understand sometimes when we get down to on our knees in our worst times of life to say, I need a Savior now. I need a Savior who will take me through this thing I'm going through now. I need to know that God will not abandon me. I need to know that I'm not alone. I need to understand at the depth of my, my being that someone's been through this and someone w conquered it. And so in his, in his life, in his death, in his resurrection. This Jesus is for you this Christmas time. He's for you at the bottom of your worst moment. He's for you, he's for you at the top of your best moment. When you're at the, at the heights, when you're in the best day of your life, and he'll be there when you're at the worst day of your life because he was one of us, Emmanuel, God with us. May God grant you that privilege this year of just appreciating the power of Jesus, Son of God and Son of Man. Amen? Amen. Congregation, please stand. Let's turn to page 7 our bulletins. We're going to reaffirm our Christian faith by the words of the Nicene Creed. We begin. I believe, I believe in one, one God, God Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, earth. And of, and of all, all things, things visible and invisible, and, invisible. and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit to the Virgin Mary, and was made man. And, and was crucified, crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, again according to the, to the scriptures. And ascended, and ascended to heaven. And sits at the right hand of the Father. And, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead. dead whose kingdom, kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. Spirit the Lord the giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified. Who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge in one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to continue. Let's see what I put together here. I think it's the prayers. I've been wrong before. Prayers of the people. Oh, no. Song before prayer. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get the prayers, then we'll sing Mary Had a Baby, and then we'll pray. Let's receive our prayer list. We have them from all over here today. Okie dokie. Thank you. And this is three pieces. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Online prayer from John and Jeanette Carlito. Blessed Christmas to all. That's a beautiful thing. The Carlitos, of course, uh, all, all here all the time with Erica and with Brian and Westcott and Walker. But they are part of this family, and we wish them exactly the same thing. Then we pray for uh, Chris, and we have uh, this is this is Chris's uh, from his funeral uh, last March. This is Stanley C. Subrian Jr. So that means your name, Stanley. And uh, this is his. This would have been his birthday. He's born on Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Happy birthday. <laughs> another, another Christina. Happy birthday. So we, and, then, and then Antoinette. We have Antoinette Christina uh, from the uh, Miller family, from the, uh, not Miller, but the, uh, uh, anyway, from, that, from the Gillette family, I'm sorry, also birth, Christmas baby. Merry Christmas to you, personally. And of course, to, to uh, Stanley, Merry Christmas in heaven to Chris. Uh, we're also praying today for uh, those who are sick and suffering. Uh, uh, let's go back to the prayers for those who are, uh, have passed away. For Keith Samnath, who was buried on Friday uh, out in Long Island, a uh, wonderful guy. And uh, then to Gerard, Gerald Holder, That's, uh, that would be uh, Sonia's dad and the dad to five other kids down in Barbados, and that funeral will be in the new year down there. Uh, then we're also going to pray for those sick and suffering. Norman Liston Sr., Rashawn, Camden's uncle, Clara Del Valle, who uh, not only had that shoulder surgery, but now has the COVID virus. So she's home for, home for the holidays, for sure. As is Jose, Vicar Jose, who had that virus earlier last week, and it kept on moving through the school. So for Ivan Chirinos, Rocio Alvarado, so for Jose also, healing, he's, he sounds better to me. It's getting better day by day. Uh, for Joseph Velasquez with body pain back there, Joseph baptized here 12 years ago or more. <laughs> Brad Campbell uh, out in Wisconsin for healing. Stephanie Wallenberg uh, for healing going through some additional uh, therapies. For Brenda and family, Gloria and family for guidance, Carolyn and family, Valerie and family, Maria who was here last night with her tambo for her and her whole family including uh, Taffy and Dylan in the Navy, for Lauren and family, for Annette Evanson, for Sevi, George, Elvis and the kids, for Sonia and family, Yvonne and Francis in Florida, for fam Familia Peña, guidance for John and friends, Stanley and Vina and family, for Jeff and Julie and the kids, for Adriana and the kids, and then for uh, the Green and Jewsbury families from Desiree, from blessing, guidance, and discernment. Always important. Okay, other prayers from you then we'll say for David, continued healing, and Gita, and Marvin, For Davy with the flu, yes, yeah, she was not able to be with us. And so, Rachel for traveling mercies all the way out in Hawaii, Hawaii. All right, other prayers from out here? Yes, Stacy. For Carl and Natalie, now I missed the second half. For Marilyn and her family. Okay, and your whole family. Of course. <laughs> All right, anyone else? Yes, Audrey. Susan and Karen and Audrey wishing everyone from row four a Merry Christmas. Very good. And Nandrani, I know you're going to have a special prayer for your husband, right? 
And he's, he, he's uh, Mr. Hiralal is not in a good place. He's in uh, Long Island Jewish, in a good hospital, but physically in a, in a very deteriorated situation, right? Get prayers for healing? Okay. I went there yesterday. Yeah, and guidance for Nandrani, uh, dealing with a very difficult circumstance here in the family and her own dear husband. So uh, I saw him yesterday. We had a prayer, but uh, he's, in the, he's in MICU, which is the serious level there. Okay, prayers for sure. Mark? Marvin, healing and Margaret. First the ears go, then the eyes. They're already gone. <laughs> you know this. You know the feeling. Okay, Margaret for healing and comfort. Yes. For healing from surgery. Mahalia. Okay, for Mahalia for healing. That's a great name, Mahalia. All right. Annette? Yes. Today is the day of her mom and dad's birthday in heaven. They both passed away on Christmas Day. Okay. All right. We come before the throne of grace. Before, after we sing Mary Had a Baby. Let's sing Mary Had a Baby and then pray. Here we go. Name the baby Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mary had a baby, my Lord. Mary had a baby, my Lord. Mary She lay him. Lady him in a manger, my Lord. Lady him in a manger, my Lord. Lady him in a manger, lady him in a manger, lady him in a manger. name him my lord and name the baby jesus my lord name the baby jesus my lord name the baby jesus name the baby jesus name the baby jesus my lord Let us pray. Father in heaven, we glorify and magnify your name this morning on Christmas Day because we understand that something happened long ago that never happened before or since, and that is the birth of the Son of God as also a Son of Man. And we thank you, Lord, that you determined to send Jesus in exactly this way, not with a cloud and a lightning bolt, but as a baby, not with a word of judgment and distress, but with glad tidings of great joy that a Savior was born. We thank you and are grateful to you forever for the birth of that Savior on that day, forever for all. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you, Father, today for the gift of life and pray for those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. Allow us to understand that in your, in your way, when Jesus came, his accomplishment of redemption took place through death so that when we pass through that door and that that gate that is a gate for us into eternity we ask that you would comfort those who mourn 
as they feel that pain even on this day as they feel that loss and that it really can't be erased from our memory or erased from our experience may the comfort that comes in Jesus the resurrection and the life still imbue our hearts still take over that portion of our hearts and bring hope bring hope and peace Lord in your mercy for those who are sick and suffering we have named so many before you this morning may they find a healing comfort from you alone the balm of healing the Prince of Peace with healing in his wings our Lord Jesus and whether it is a physical problem, mental, spiritual, emotional, whatever level we are at, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would bring to those folks exactly the level of help they need, that as they receive that healing in your time and in your way, they might be able to glorify your name, the God of life and life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those traveling. We've got a lot of people on the road, and we ask that they be kept safely on their journeys. Uh, take us in this city of New York, even around the journeys that we have in the metro area safely over this holiday time, and give us a sense of joy as we journey to have food and refresh and relax ourselves in, the, in this season. May the spirit of giving be initiated and ended with the great gift that you gave us, Heavenly Father, and bring that gift to the world, the world that needs a Prince of Peace. A world always in need of wisdom from on high. Bless us today in our worship, our adoration, and our praise of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to continue with our offering. We're going to sing the first and last verses of It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. And then I think we'll be ready for the next uh, portion of Holy Communion. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on us and given your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Send your Holy Spirit into our hearts, that he may establish in us once again that spirit of joy and redemption, and bring us to your nearer presence. Prepare us to joyfully remember our Redeemer and receive him who comes to us in his body and blood. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same manner also he took the cup after supper. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his suffering. Amen. 
Amen. Now we're going to join hands as appropriate and sing our song of unity. You can do that on your own as well. It's called the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Our Father Peace of the Lord be with you all. Happy, peaceful, joyful, stable. Stable. I love it. Last night we did a little more uh, mingling, but we'll just leave it as is. You may have a seat. Uh, we're going to continue with Holy Communion, and uh, the I'll be alongside the one, the distribution line. What we have in church here is a, a, uh, it's a little container, it's a little chalice, and on top is a host, and on the bottom is the wine. We take it back to your seat and hold it while you sing the song, and others are coming up, and then at the end we'll all receive the communion together. So come, for the feast is prepared. And the song is, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Said we receive again the beautiful blessing of Christmas. May all this inhabit your heart and take you through some of those very difficult moments in this game. Hope always that God is good with you. Amen. Oh, let's all
Blessing of Almighty God be with you today. Health and happiness. Oh Lord. Very blessing of Christmas on you today, physically and in every way you bless them. We do. Oh Jesus. Alfredo, a bendición del Señor en el nombre del Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo. Para ti, para Amalia y Helen. Y la familia entera. Take and eat of the body of Christ that is given for you. Take and drink the blood of Christ is shed for you. And now may this, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, keep you strong in the true faith unto his eternal life. In his divine plan may you be given a beautiful, beautiful Christmas. Amen. Amen. Congregation, please stand. Let us pray. Give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed through this altar gift. On your glory that every mercy, you will strengthen us through the same in faith towards you and in fervent love towards one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and raises with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Receive now the benediction of Almighty God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please have a seat for a moment of intros and hanging around. And then we, uh, now we do have, Judy's going to go to the back. Is she going to go to the back? Yes, she is. I refer to her in the third person. The, uh, we have hot chocolate, hottish chocolate, and hot coffee. Directly from the favorite place that you all go to get your hot chocolate and hot coffee, which is Dunkin' Donuts. I knew that. And uh, also, the cookies and all of that stuff today is from the oven uh, at my house, which I do not touch because Judy does all of that. So those are her cookies. You can give her a hand for all the cookies you're about to eat. For all the cookies you're about to eat. Oh, that's yes, true. Give her a hand after you've tasted them. And we have one Kringle, so I don't know if there's anybody here of a Danish heritage. No. Uh, but uh, in Denmark, they have a certain thing they make called Kringle. It's a, it's, a, it's, a cake. it's a pastry. It's like a pastry. You know what it is? And you can buy it only in certain places. And one of them is Trader Joe's. Uh, <laughs> but mostly they sell it in Wisconsin. because that's where, And that's where it's made. Because 
where we grew up is where all the Danish people live. Where my, my mom lived for her whole life was Racine, Wisconsin. So this Kringle is out there. You just try a little slice of it. It's good. Uh, and the rest of it. So we, we, here's the problem. We can't have this meal in the parish hall. You know why? Boiler broke. So yesterday, around 10 o'clock, I came over here, and the other, this boiler had also failed. Pilot light blew out in the, in the, in the cold. That, that when it got real cold, the wind came through and blew the pilot light out. So last night, those poor people that came last night, you, it was the most 60 degrees in here. It had to come up from about 40 to 60 all through the day. Today, doesn't it feel nice in here? Pretty toasty, pretty calm, stable, because we, we got it back. Now, there is still no heat in the other room, and they're not going to fix the boiler till Tuesday. Because it wasn't the boiler. It was the pipes that broke. Uh, so by Saturday, New Year's Eve, we will have our party in the parish hall. New Year's Eve is on, okay? It is on as of this day. So if those plumbers find any more trouble here, uh, I mean, they're already making... You, uh, all of your children, become a plumber when you grow old. It's a guaranteed maximum wage right there. Uh, they're good guys. And we can get one guy, he's pretty much our 24-hour-a-day plumber, so we did get good advice on this. So that's a little story about here. And uh, New Year's Eve at 8 o'clock, we meet for, for uh, conversation and cleansing of our, our annual cleansing here. We have a, a good service of forgiveness and a good service of strength. And we go forth well fortified, and we go in the parish hall and have a wonderful little dance over there. And we have a couple people that will provide a variety of musics, a variety of musical stylings. And then at midnight, usually Gary, I don't know how's your back for this. Think it's okay? All right. Somebody's gonna, somebody will pull the bell uh, on the Hale Avenue side. That bell's been there 120 years. And we're gonna pull it till it falls. No, we're not gonna pull it. It's going to keep going. We'll pull the bell together at midnight uh, next Saturday. Sunday, there is church, same time, same channel. If you go Saturday night, you must come Sunday morning. <laughs> no. no I, I'll be here, but uh, we're going we're gonna to guarantee New Year's Day is not a great day for a church service. But we're going to have one because it's on a Sunday. Then the Friday after that, if, we, if you're free and we'd like you to see if you can carve out a minute, we're going over to 380 Belmont and Pennsylvania Avenue, which is in East New York. It's a senior uh, uh, independent living site called Martin Luther Court. There'll be like 50 of the, of the residents, and we'll bring over some food. We'll bring over, we don't have to bring too many gifts, but you can bring some gifts. And then three people will be chosen to be the kings. It's Three Kings Day, Friday the 6th. Then they, the three kings make an entrance Who's been a king? Have you guys been king over there? Keith's been a king over there. Keith, Keith's been there. And Gary, yes. And Stephen, right? They've been kings in the past. And they're treated like kings, man, because when they come in, they give these gifts away. And, the, and there's a king cake. Have you ever had a king cake? You know what it is. A king cake is a cake that you do on Three Kings Day. Ros oh, no. What's, a, what's the word for cake? Rosca? Ros I don't know. De Reyes. Something de Reyes. It's a king cake. In the king cake is one little, in one little piece of it is a little plastic baby Jesus. And if you should happen to get that cake, that piece, the feeling is that you will be blessed the whole year if you didn't swallow that little Jesus, because otherwise you're in, a, you're in the hospital. And I had that happen to me. Judy's not here, so I can tell a little of the story, where I was working at the Atlantic District as the president, and there was a cake. And I said, oh, cake. You know, I didn't know. Cake, oh, yes. And I, I cut a piece for myself, and I bit down and almost cracked a tooth. And I uttered bad words, because I thought someone had messed with the cake. I didn't know. 
And there was a little a young girl in the college working at our office then, who, and she goes, it is baby Jesus. And I said, it, I don't know what you're saying, but this is my tooth. And I've just cracked a tooth on whatever somebody put, and look at that, it was the baby Jesus. And later that year, I had baby Jesus in my cup holder. This is a true story. Um, I, I will tell this again in another context, no doubt. And I'm driving out on the Grand Central, getting onto the Jackie, and a guy hit me and drove my car up over the, over, the, over the thing to go down onto the Grand Central, 50 feet below. And the, and the car tipped at the last second back, back onto the Jackie. Totally wrecked the car. I came out through the, through the sunroof, you know. And the baby Jesus had gone from the cup holder into my pocket right here at my heart. And that was the baby Jesus that they said would be. Now, I don't put faith in that little plastic thing at all. But I'll tell you something. It gave me a, 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 a sure changed my life as far as knowing when you need, when you pray for traveling mercies, put that prayer in there because that was a traveling mercy for me. And I, I went out to uh, the Mazda dealership and I had my bishop outfit on, and I must have sold like 10 cars out there by just standing out there and telling them this story. This, I'll take that car. I'm, get me one of those. I want one of those. The, the real story is that the baby Jesus, who we worship here, is the Lord of your life and your heart, and he is your Savior. After that, I think we can go into the new year with a great shout of joy. So have some... Are you ready, Judy, back there? Okay. We're all good. I was waiting for the, the go signal. At this time, we're going to conclude with joy to the world. Any other announcements? Oh, we got a special thing. Wait a minute. Keith, where is that? Hold on. We have a special thing. It's in my office. This is from the Men's Club of St. Peter's. This is an announcement about the Men's Club. Uh, if Matthew, can you come up here a second? I need help with this one. This is a special little ceremony. So we have a lot of kids who are with us here at St. Peter's. This is one of them. What, what school did you start at? What was the first school you went to? Um, the St. Peter's Preschool. St. Peter's Preschool. This is an alumnus, a graduate of St. Peter's Preschool back in the day, way back in the day, four or five years ago, right? Yeah. And in that period of time, uh, Matthew has become, and his family, came into the church through the midwinter vacation Bible school, right? That's how you started here, and have become main members of this church. So the men of St. Peter's, this is one of them. I don't know where Keith, Keith, come on up. You can stand here. The men of St. Peter's wanted to say something about a young man who is headed in a good track, and his parents are raising him in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And Henry and David, come on up. So they wanted to say this, and you're standing directly in the camera. Come over here. That's it. And Gary. This, okay. And so they wanted to say something to you. They wanted, what did you want to say to him? Yeah. So Matthew, we want to say how very thankful we are to St. Peter's to have you as a child of God and for all that you do and being an inspiration for all other kids that come to St. Peter's. So on behalf of St. Peter's Men Group, we have a little something for you here, a present. I hope you'll appreciate it. And it's from all of us. So God, may God continue to bless you on this journey each and every day. Thank you. And I'm going to say Merry Christmas, dude. Merry Christmas. Do you know what this is? You don't know what it is. Do you want to tell them what it is? Anybody want to? Want, maybe you should open it, huh? Abrelo. Uh, okay. First, yeah, first, open the, open the, why don't you help him open the gift? Let's shorten the circumstance. Okay, go ahead and read that. He'll open the gift. Dear Matthew, May God bless you. Thank you for, what does it say? Uh, for all. 
for all you do for St. Peter's. Sincerely, Vicar Jose P. And this is all the rest of the people, and what does it say over here? Um, wishing you, wishing you Christmas happiness to warm your heart and home with special joy. Merry Christmas. Okay, and now the ceremonial opening of the gift. What did we need? This is, sounds like a major endeavor here. Okay, what is in there? <laughs> we still don't know what it is. It's a dog. There's a small dog in there. No, no, it's not a dog. <laughs> I don't know. It's always the part that amazes me. It's the hardest thing is just opening the darn thing. Here we go. Now, don't, let's not drop that. It's a computer. It's a computer. It's a computer. It's a little laptop for you, man. It's an Acer Chrome, Google Chrome laptop. Use it and use it to study all those subjects and study the Word of God, okay? Why don't you give them all a hug or a thanks? And that's a Merry Christmas. This is a guy who, uh, y Yolanda y Wilmer, muchísimas gracias por su familia. All right. I'm, I'm happy I did that in right here because I think sometimes it's good we just say, it's a good, Christmas is a good thing. You can show that off later on, yes. And you know, we want to do the best we can by all of our kids here. We want them all to know we love them. We took some of the kids over to Target over the holidays and we had a, a project going with the 75th Precinct and with St. Peter's and with Target, and we were allowed to give some gifts to kids then. So we're just going to keep on doing what we got to do, slowly but surely. Let's sing Joy to the World and get something to eat before the coffee gets cold. Okay, here we go. Please rise. Sing and have that nature sing and have that have that nature sing. The worth of saints are kind. Now their songs employ our fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. To the world, no thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. Far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as far as. the world with and makes the nations brew the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, and wonders of his Go in peace and serve the Lord. The refreshments are right here at the entrance in the back. So come on out, get a chance, just greet one another, enjoy the day.